Hey, what's going on, everybody? How you doing? Uh, this is James Burson, back uh, creating content. I'm going to start this series that I have titled POC, P-O-C, which stands for Point of Conversation. And the reason why I'm doing this, just like I was doing my other videos, um, it ties in, you know, points about conversations without losing the act, the actual purpose of the conversation. So that's why I named it POC, Point of Conversation. A lot of times you'll have a conversation that started and the point of the conversation is easily missed by details, by sub-conversations, all things that um, are talked about during the conversation and now you end up missing the point. So POC, Point of Conversation, is about maintaining that purpose of the conversation while being able to tie in other points that are relative to the conversation or may not even seem relative. So I'm looking to tie all, all, all those things together. So with that being said, this first video that I'm making today is going to be based on perspective. Perspective is today's pop. Today, today's point of conversation is going to be all about perspective. And the reason why it's about perspective is because a lot of people think that perspective is based on opinions. Perspective is not based on opinions. Perspective is solely based, based on somebody's personal life experience that has allowed them to see things from a different angle or a different point of view. And so with that being said, what someone else may think is not true about someone else's perspective, you're missing their point. They've been through that. They've been through that. And so for them, it's true. They lived through that. They struggled through that. So a real perspective is based on somebody's experience with something that has allowed them to see things from a different angle. And so have, have to take into consideration. Have to take that into consideration. So take some time and med meditate on that for a little bit. Perspective is based on somebody's life experience that has allowed them to see things from a different angle. It's not an opinion. An opinion, opinions are formed on, ba a lot of opinions are formed based on what somebody personally thinks. And what somebody personally thinks a lot of times, a lot of times some people just like being a part of conversations. They like putting their opinion out there, what they personally think on, on something. An opinion can be based on anything. You don't even have to research to have, have an opinion. You can hear conversation and spark some things that you're personally thinking about. And like, oh, well, I think this is like this because of X, Y, and Z. And that can be the whole basis of somebody's opinion. A perspective, a real perspective is based on life experience that has allowed them to see things from, an, from that angle. I'm going to put emphasis on that because people will have to look at how somebody's life experience, you know, can help some help someone else. So their perspective on it may not speak to you personally per se, but it will speak to somebody else somebody else's situation. And so perspective also is what allow also was what allowed people to be in positions of leadership at certain times because they have they have that experience in life. That perspective that they have puts them in position to make decisions that it, that will benefit other people. Opinions are, are are different. Opinions can be argued back and forth all day, every day. But perspectives are get are they're, they're God given when you really think about it. So like John four twenty four says. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So a perspective is more of a spiritual thing, and the truth behind it is what God has allowed someone to go through that gives them that edge in that moment to be able to say that this is why this is true. I've been through this. I've experienced this. So for me growing up, this is how it happened. So a perspective is a real thing for everyone that's bringing a real perspective based on something that that they've been through even even if that perspective is not necess necessarily 
a good one or it's not necessarily true. It has happened in someone else's life. So therefore, they can speak on that because they've been through that. So let's not forget that. That that perspective is based on someone's experience that has allowed them to see things from a different angle. So when you're sharing like a lot, like your testimony or sharing stories, and someone's oh, never looked at it like that. They're giving it to you based on how God's allowed them to see things in, in their life play out. So that perspective is more like a spiritual thing that has opened up your eyes to other truths that are out there in, in life. So what I'm saying to people out there is don't neglect some, someone else's perspective just because it doesn't speak to your situation. Because that perspective from another angle could be information for you to give to someone else. So even if it doesn't work for you, that's something that you can hold on to up here that you can use for, for a different situation in a different time. There's no substitute for that time. You're built, you're built for this. You're built for the things that you have been through. You're built for the perspective that, that God is, is building you up to bring light, bring light into the, to the world. So, that being said, that's, that's all for now. I want to make short videos, not trying to keep them too long. Like I said, first episode of POC, P-O-C, point of conversation. Point of the conversation is perspective is based on someone's personal experience that has allowed them to see things from a different angle. Don't neglect someone else's perspective because it's not an opinion. Opinions are like behinds. Everybody can have an, an, an opinion, but everybody is not going to have a perspective. Two different things. Two different things. So like opinion versus perspective can be something like, oh, well, I think the sky is blue. I think the sky is clear. Perspective on the sky being clear. Oh well, if you've done the if you've done the the actual testing and you can see that the reflections of, of the water is is balanced by the clarity in the atmosphere. So when the water the water those rays meet meet the atmosphere, it makes it look like the sky is blue. When, when in all reality. It's clear. It's just the molecules in the atmosphere re reflecting off, off the water from, from from the ocean, or however somebody else uses that experience. And someone else just think, "Well, I think it's, I think it's like that just just because just because I think that's just how it was made." Those are like opinions versus perspective. So someone's life experience will give them perspective. Someone's thought process will give them opinions on things. That's all. That's all for now. Take it out you guys want it. Hope this has helped you. James Burson, over and out.